हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डीजी एंड डिग्रेडी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज़ एपिसोड 160 ओपो इंडिया वाइस प्रेसिडेंट एंड हेड ऑफ आर एंड डी टस्लिम आरिफ केम टू ट्विटर टू टीज अ कैमरा सेंट्रिक इवेंट एंड रिसीव एन इवेंट इन आवर मेल रिवीलिंग द कीनोट इज स्केड्यूल्ड टू टेक प्लेस ऑन अगस्त 19th एट 12 नून आईएसटी टाइम द प्रीमिस ऑफ द इवेंट इटसेल्फ रिमेंस अ मिस्ट्री सो वी आर नॉट श्योर व्हाट टू एक्सपेक्ट ओपो इज टीजिंग अ रेवोल्यूशन इन मोबाइल कैमरास टू सेट टू ट्रांसफॉर्म यूजर्स कैमरा एक्सपीरियंस फॉरएवर India's Reliance announced the Geo Phone Next an entry level smartphone built in collaboration with Google. It is expected to launch on September 10th and it promises to become the most affordable smartphone in India once it goes on sale. This phone will come with a 1440 into 720 resolution display and a Qualcomm entry level 215 chipset which also power Nokia 1.4. RAM comes in a 2 GB while the software department is covered by Android 11 Go edition. The front camera comes in a 8 megapixel while the single rear shoot Twitter features a 13 megapixel omnivision sensor. Elon Musk's ambitions around space travel and exploration only seems to be getting bigger and more electric with time. Now the SpaceX CEO is joining hands with Canada-based startup to make advertising in space a reality. According to the reports, the tech billionaire and the startups are working towards putting a billboard into low earth orbit. By next year, the team is aiming to send a satellite into space aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that will enable advertising content to be beamed from Earth. This satellite is called as CubeSat and will feature a pixelated display screen where the content beamed from the earth will appear IQ8 has appeared on the IMEI database with the model number I2019. The listing confirms the marketing name of the flagship officially. IQ8 series specifications include a Snapdragon 888 Plus processor, 120 Hz C5 AMOLED display and a 50 megapixel primary sensor. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Galaxy Z Flip 3 has been teased to launch in India on August 20th. The company will be collaborating with Bollywood actor Alia Bhatt for the launch. Samsung teased the date in an interaction with an actor on Twitter, though he did not explicitly mention it on the launch date. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Galaxy Z Flip 3 were launched globally on August 11th, along with the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 and the Galaxy Watch 4 series. Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G is expected to come with a Snapdragon 778G and a 5G support. The phone will continue feature a 6.5 inch 120 Hz Super AMOLED panel. Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G will run on One UI 3.1 on Android 11. Realme Book Slim confirmed to feature a PC Connect feature similar to Microsoft Your Phone. The laptop is set to launch in India on August 18th alongside the Realme GT and GT Master Edition phones. Realme Book Slim will ship with a 2K display, 11th generation Intel Core i5 and a 54 watt battery. Realme's tech life brand Dizo is set to expand its audio wearable product portfolio in India. According to the sources, the company is all set to launch two new true wireless earbuds on August 17th. Realme Band to have received the Bureau of Indian Standards certification. The fitness tracker bears the model number RMW2010. Realme Band 2 is expected to come with a large 1.4 inch display, SPO2 sensor and a pogo pin charger. MediaTek A10 processor will most likely make its way on upcoming Realme and Oppo smartphones. Realme India is officially working on a MediaTek smartphone scheduled to launch in late 2021. Oppo MediaTek Dimensity A10 processor smartphone could feature a 90 Hz refresh rate and a 5000 mAh battery. I think Oppo smartphone will be competing with the Realme A10 smartphone. WhatsApp is reportedly working on a new option that will allow users to view status updates of their contacts via their profile pictures. Currently, there is a separate tab inside the WhatsApp app application where you can view status updates. This ability to view the status of a user is likely to be expanded to the chat section now, where in users will be able to tap on their profile pictures and get the option to view the contact status. This feature is still under development and cannot be seen even if users were on the latest WhatsApp beta version. A few days ago, Xiaomi officially released the Xiaomi Mi Mix 4. The flagship smartphone is the first regular smartphone in the Mix series over the past three years. After the release of Xiaomi Mix 3 back in 2018, we had the Xiaomi Mix Alpha and Xiaomi Mix Fold, but both are not regular smartphones. Just a few days after the launch of Mix 4, there is an information about the upcoming Mix flagship smartphone. According to the reports, the brand new Mix flagship with the model number 21081118SE is in the public domain. 
mine. These are the speculation that this smartphone will support a 5000mAh battery, 120W wired fast charging and a 50W wireless fast charging. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.